everybody, my name is Kim Wen, and welcome to my channel. I am the American woman who's going to be doing a live performance review for you today for MTV's Unplugged featuring BTS Telepathy. My videos were created to aim at Americans who are new to K-pop or to BTS. So in each of my video, I'm going to give a little information about the song and about the artist so we can share information together. And I always welcome anybody else who's interested, and especially if you're ARMY, because I'm a new ARMY and I love hearing from you guys and learning from you guys. You give me the best suggestions and things to look out for. And I love all your support, so I really appreciate it. This is truly historic performance for BTS as well as MTV Unplugged. BTS is definitely the first Korean act to perform on MTV Unplugged. Telepathy is actually the fifth track from their B album. They perform against an arcade-like background, and it reveals that the song was inspired by their fan base, The Army. The set also included renditions of their mega hit, Dynamite, Blue and Gray, Life Goes On, and a surprise cover of Coldplay called Fix You. MTV Unplugged has seen some of the most iconic performances in music history from the likes of artists such as Jay-Z, Nirvana, Adele, Bon Jovi, and many more. Now we have BTS made their way to MTV Unplugged debut where they performed from So Korea with the song Telepathy, which they opened up with. The group dressed in colorful outfits to match the theme of the song, and they sang the hit track in a room arranged with numerous elements, which we'll see, like the friend's couch, you'll see a foosball table, a Vespa with a sidecar, and a jukebox, just to name a few items of interest. Now, according to the Cambridge English Dictionary, telepathy is defined as, quote, the ability to know what is in someone's mind or communicate with someone mentally without using words or other physical signs. And according to BTS members, when they were asked about their live performance and about the song Telepathy, RM said this, It's really an honor to be part of MTV Unplugged Legacy, where so many legends have performed. We're definitely thankful honored we got to be a part of this. According to J-Hope, he confessed that the group was nervous about performing telepathy, for it was the first time they were bringing it to live stage. However, he said he had a ball performing it. Suga also explained that the song was easy to make and he wanted to follow the trend of mixing the different styles of music together. And Andy said, quote, I just played a beat and wrote from the beginning until the end. Done. I wrote it in just 30 minutes. The song almost wrote itself. That is amazing. <laughs> Telepathy is described as a playful 1980s infected disco and fun song that makes use of an electronic production. The song is driven by 70s beat, auto-tune vocals, a G-funk whistle, a groovy bass line, synth bass, dacked up vocals, harmonization, a cowbell, and a jam band percussion. The lyrics explain the connection that one can feel with someone, despite physical distance, and sees BTS as admitting to their kind of disorientation that's caused by the excessive free time. B album debuted on the US Billboard 200, becoming BTS's fifth number one album in the US. Telepathy charted at number 70 on the Billboard Hot 100 off of their B album, which was released back in November of 2020. So there's no doubt this song was definitely made for ARMY. And during a global press conference for B, Jin said that Telepathy confirmed what Suga just said, that Telepathy is a song about ARMY. The original Korean title for this track means, quote, for a moment, such as in for a moment, BTS imagine that they're able to be with ARMY again and feel so deeply connected to ARMY in an inexplicable way where they can anticipate their thoughts and feelings as if in telepathy. So with that said, like I said, if you haven't had a chance to see the original performance, I'm going to highly recommend that you do so. I hear that MTV, which is under Viacom company, is has very strict copyright policies, so I've heard a lot of videos have been taken down. Thus, I'm taking extra precaution to make, there's going to be a lot of edits on this. You'll probably see more pauses as well. So go ahead and watch the original. Come back and take a look at this version, okay? So with that said, let's get started.
nice big B sign and there, look at this room. Wait, let's go back. We start off zooming out with this nice B sign. There's the foos table, there's the friend's couch. As they pan across the room, there's the Vespa and in the back, the arcade game. That's Jimin. Nice face. I really like that. Nice face. Let's go! That's Jung Chuck Cook. Opening. That's Jimin. Okay, first of all, I want to say Sugar. I love that transition, how they open up with two. Um, Jungkook is the youngest with the blonde hair and the jean jacket that open up. And then Jimin, you start with the two vocalists with BTS. Their Korean name is Bangtan Soyeondong. They are a seven member band from South Korea. Presently, they are the number one boy band in the world. Award winning, and they've won awards on almost every single continent. That's and awards here in the US as well. And they are Grammy nominated for the best pop slash dual group currently. What it looks like is they're doing things in pairs from what I'm seeing. The vibe I'm getting is very retro. Definitely as described, kind of end of 70s, early 80s, retro kind of vibe. Very chill. I feel like this is a cousin to Dynamite. You know, this is a chill out version of Dynamite and the fashion is also very interesting as well. They all have designer fashion on Disney in particular and probably Gucci and I will talk about their drip a little bit later, okay? And you're hearing that nice bass that opens it up and then that kind of like that sound effect of almost like that swoosh, um, almost like a video arcade type of sound I'm hearing. And then, of course, like I said, the two vocalists that are in the higher tenor range, very lighter, very brighter tone with Jung Jung Cook than Jimin. And then we transition to Min Yugi or Suga, who's sitting down, who's a rapper. And usually Suga's voice is a little bit deeper. He's more of the deeper, uh, uh, a bass, more, so, more of a bass tone. But he's, singing, he's rapping at a high range right now for his range. And I love it. I love his tone of voice. I love when the rappers sing. I think the rappers in this group has amazing singing abilities and you will have to hear him on separate songs. So I will feature Sugar in another song called Seesaw where he actually does a lot of singing song rapping type of, of uh, rhythm there. And then let's continue. This is J-Hope. Again, they are pairing up in twos again. This is Jung Jung Cook with another rapper. Now, J Hope is an amazing rapper. I will also feature him in another solo. He, I have heard him open up on another song, I think, called Spring Day. And again, another amazing voice. J Hope is also the lead dancer of this group. And if you ever seen any of the choreography, you you need to watch J Hope. <laughs> J Hope and Jimin are actually the two in here with the dance background. This is Jung Jung Cook, the youngest in the group. We still feel the same way, right? Even if you're not by my side, they are singing to us, Army. <laughs> v saying like that to me, I'd be dead. I'm on the floor right now, okay? <laughs> v happens to be one of the vocalists, and he actually, uh, his voice range is actually on the deeper end. Believe it or not, if you hear him on some of the songs, the slower ballads, he's got the he's got the deepest voice. I would have to say in this group, more of a bass. However, he his range can go very high. He can do those falsettos beautifully as well. And of course, he's been voted as one of the most beautiful, most handsome man in the world. So, <laughs> wear the cutest Donald Duck shirt right now, I must say. 
Jin. You are the one that's special to me. Let's go back to Jin here before we go to RM. This is Jin. Jin is the oldest uh, member of the group. He has an amazing voice as well. He, I will feature him in solos as well. He has the song Epiphany that you must hear. It will shock you. His tone to me is always beautiful and clean and bright. It's very nice tone. Very it's like a ear candy. Really love Jin's voice. That's Jimin. Alright, Oh, can I be Beverly Hills like you did the same to me, baby? Okay. Okay, All right, let's take a look at this wordplay. RM is also a writer, um, takes part in writing this along with Jungkook. Now, he does a lot of wordplay. They use a lot of wordplay. I want to go back and take a look at this line here. It says, this is a street that's permitted to us. Right, this line right here where it says, Oh, can I be your Bibbly Hills, not Beverly Hills? To an American ear, that sounds like Beverly Hills, but it's not. It's one of his wordplay that he used. And my understanding is in, uh, this translates to uh, like your support. Can I be your support? Let me know if I got that right, Army. Okay, so the, at least that, that's what I'm hearing. And look how handsome he looks. He's my boo. <laughs> Oh, can I be Beverly Hills like you did the same to me, baby? Yeah. That's right. Look how cute they are. That's Jen. That's Jen. Jen does a lot of their bridges. So, Jude is one of the most amazing dancers in this group next to Jake. Jim is the one that does a lot of the Jungkook and V. Let's go back for a second here. Jungkook, I'm sorry, that was Jimin and V. These two are best of friends. What you'll know about, what you'll learn, those of you who are new, this group here is not just seven, yes, they are seven very unique individuals who have come together when they were tweens. They were kids when they came together. I'm talking like high school, early teenage years. And they grew up together into young men in their 20s, okay? So they know each other inside and out. They shared a small space together, living together, eating together, working with each other, long, long days. So they know each other beyond just, and they have become friends and have learned to work with each other. I know many members in their interviews have described each other beyond just friends. They're no longer friends. They're at a point of family. So that tells you how tight-knit and close this group is. And these two in particular are best of friends. They, again, describe each other beyond just friends. They call each other soulmate. So that's an inside thing. Once you get to know them and watch some of the behind-the-scenes things and get to know their personality, these two are soulmates. So that says a lot about this group and about the friendship, okay, and um, how they invest in each other. 
and they're so cute. They have a duality, this group. They can look like this, very cute, very sweet boy next door, but they can go ahead and turn on that sexy beast and they can slay you with their look. And these two happen to be some of the most sexiest beasts on the, some of the music videos that you'll see. Right now, and they're, they're in their sweet, cute uh, boy boat right now. <laughs> And this two little, these, this little dance app, this little chill, you know, this little low key sexiness is so cute. I love it so much. I gotta watch this again. It's so cute. <laughs> I love that fade, that nice fade. And let's go back again. I want to take a look at that final scene. Now this is a picture, let me tell you. This right here is a picture. So cute. This is something you want to put in a frame. And look at this room. This room just kind of captures the song. It's fun. It's youthful. It's light. It's lively. It's entertaining. And of course you have BTS. What more can you ask for? Maybe a, maybe a pizza and a Coke. <laughs> But otherwise, you know, this, I, I love this song so much. It uh, uh, truly is a cousin to Dynamite, a low-key, you know, chill-out version of it. And it has this amazing rhythm. You know, it starts off with a really nice bass, and you hear that throughout the song. Really nice bass, you know. And then it gives you that catchy hook, and gets your head bopping the whole time. My beats tap in, my body wants to move. I don't know how you can stand, stay still with this amazing beat, right? And then you hear the fun cowbell, and then, of course, that stacked voices that you're hearing. And, of course, you have seven members here. Three rappers, four vocalists, very, you know, ranging from the highest range of tenors to the lowest bass. And then when you stack them together, it has such a interesting and very musical musically sound that's coming out it's like ear candy you know and then of course you have you hear the electric guitar sometimes comes in and you see of course retro visually you have retro from the way they dress to the items in the room that i pointed out earlier and speaking of the way we dress let's take a look at their drip okay let's go back now take a look at each of the members drip here starting off with our youngest jung jung cook he opened up for us. There we go. Let me let me turn that back a little bit here. Start from the beginning. This is Jung Jung Cook. Now he is sporting his blonde hair for this video. He has is rocking his look right now by layering a Gucci cat embroidered denim jacket over a Gucci and Disney embroidered T-shirt. And what's even more stylish is he's got the Alexander McQueen's track slick lace-up sneakers to go along with this outfit. Next up is going to be Jimin. Watch as he turns around. See, there's the cat. Now we go to Jimin. Okay, Jimin here, by the way, is one of the trained dancers in the group amazing dancer along with J-Hope. Now with Jimin, he is sporting a very cool look. He's got Gucci Disney Donald Duck, Disney Donald Duck print bomber jacket on, which he accessorized with a cute Daisy Duck brooch. Next up, it's going to be Sugar. Mind number two, Sugar, it's a little stud muffin you. <laughs> now, Suga nailed his outfit with a shirt jacket from Gucci. He also has a Gucci Disney graphic print sweatshirt beneath and a stylish pair of hacked fashion Chuck 70 sneakers from Converse. Up next, we have... J-Hope. J-Hope, love J-Hope. He pulled it off here. He went for a navy cotton striped sweater, coordinate corduroy trousers, a pair of Gucci tennis 1977 sneakers, and of course, a Mickey Mouse pendant necklace. Up next. Oh, we transition over here to the, one of the most handsome men ever in K-pop. V is also super dashing here in his Gucci striped cardigan and off-white Donald Duck t-shirt. 
B will look good in anything. Okay, let's put it that way. Okay, up next, we're going back. RM is my boo. And he is actually styling out this outfit featuring a beige and green striped Donald Duck sweater and a Daisy Duck necklace, both of course from Gucci. And up next we have... There's Jin. Jin is the oldest in the group and Jin is actually wearing a Gucci Donald Duck t-shirt along with a Donald Duck flannel shirt and of course Disney Ace sneakers. So this group is all decked out <laughs> and they're just emphasizing the fun that's going on in this video. And taking a look at the group picture here, if I can see if I can pull that a little bit. There we go. You can see them now head to toe, all decked out in their designer Disney Donald Duck or Daisy Duck, along with Gucci, of course. <laughs> and of course, I just want to go back to the ending um, pose that they all hit here. Um, love this one. Right there. No, it's like, I just love this song. It looks like such a fun scene to love to join them. You know, BTS just makes you feel better. I love this scene right here, and this song just makes me so happy, just like Dynamite. It's upbeat, it's uplifting, it is a vibe, a retro vibe for sure, and it kind of reminds me of like being in high school again. <laughs> You know, with the arcade and all the games and, and the fun and, and the fashion, you know, it makes you kind of forget things that are going on that's heavy and dark and that's, you know, kind of heavy and serious outside right now. So just for a moment, you know, just for a moment, you're telepathically connecting with BTS, you know, and, and what a great group of people to connect to, you know, someone who's going to shine positivity hope, love, and support your way, well, why, yes, of course, we all need that right now. And as the performance on MTV Unplugged has ended, yes, and it's also the first time that we get a chance to have Suga come back and do a performance, a live, his first live performance with the band. And if you're wondering how he's doing with his shoulder, in a recent stream for fans, he said that he still can't fully move his arm yet, although he is no longer wearing a brace. And quote, I still feel that they are not my arms. My arms are like arms of a newborn baby. I can't lift my arms now. However, he said he is continuing to receive treatment. So Regardless, we hope you have a speedy and quick recovery show here because we love you. We're so glad that you're back. It makes the, the band complete with you back. So at the end of this performance, Jung Jung Cook, the youngest, had this to say to their fans. First, we miss you, ARMY, so much. We look forward to seeing you again. And until then, we will continue to stay by your side this year with good music. So BTS giving us love so much, and of course ARMY, we're giving them, we're thankful for their amazing performance, and all the love is going back at them, of course. So I hope you enjoy this live performance reaction for BTS Telepathy. If you do, please give this a like. Go ahead, leave some comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to, subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out all of my other music video reactions that I have. I'm planning and definitely on doing more live performances. And you guys seem to love my dance <laughs> practice reactions. So I'm going to do more of those as well. So I hope you enjoyed my reactions as much as I enjoy giving them. So thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.